Just uh, finished testing the PPFD and Photon power meter apps with the new array. I was getting reports that they weren't um, reading accurately. Uh, so I have the old array and the new array and I'm just going to show you that there has been a difference in terms of the calibration. The reason is this, so you can see the old array had a relatively small amount of 660 nanometer red, slightly less efficient. New array has a higher proportion of 660 nanometer red. You can see that's common uh, amongst um, high efficiency fixtures. But the PPFD and Photon app just isn't calibrated to pick up this big spike here. So I've updated, uh, based on their existing settings, I've tested um, under uh, both the old array and the new array uh, and compared against the Apogee SQ500, which is the industry standard for um, parameters, quantum parameters. And I've done this table here with the calibration factor. So uh, starting here, using an Android with the old array, with the PPFD app, with no diffuser, the white bar means a diffuser, so with no diffuser, at this setting, 3500K plus red, it's 0 0.9. So if you get a reading of 100 micromoles, you multiply it by 0.9, it'll be 90 micromoles. Now you can change the factor on the app uh, permanently, well, to suit the readings that you're taking. Um, when the PPFD is paired with the unit T lux meter, um, you get a 0 0.9 and Photon 1.05. And you can see along there, I've done all the, uh, the different calibration factors. Want to get all the details, click the link in the bio, go to the learn section and you'll see the blog post.